But in the UK, it's illegal not to be drinking your own homebrew when the rugby's on. What the hell am I gonna do now? Can I brew a beer in three days? Grain to glass. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, grain to glass in 60 hours. It's giving me a good The one. world's fastest beer, trademark. <laughs> so what, yeah, what we're gonna brew is a, um, uh, a West Coast style IPA that's quite sessionable, uh, about four and a half percent, is that correct, in the lab? Yep, should come in just around about four and a half percent. Yeah, we wanna give something that the, 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 the yeast will chew through quite quickly. There's various ways we're going to try and achieve this um, very fast turnaround. I guess the top of that is the fact that we're using Kvike yeast, yeah, I think that's probably the biggest time saver on the uh, on the whole thing. Yeah, interestingly, kvike yeast. Kvike means yeast. So by saying kvike yeast, you're actually saying yeast, yeast. Yeah. Which so from the rest of this video, we'll only be saying kvike. So yeah, correct <laughs> us in the comments. But anyway, it actually comes from the old Norse word, uh, which means vigorous or quick. So oh, interesting. so there you go. Yeah, so that's the yeast. Uh, we're going to ferment under pressure in the firmzilla. Yep. Gm three point two and about 25 PSI, and we're gonna ferment pretty hot as well at 35 degrees C. It's one of the attributes of, of Kvike, you can uh, ferment it up to 40 degrees. So I thought, well, let's not push yeah. the boundaries of 40, let's just go 35 and see you know, how that behaves. And we've managed to cut down the length of the brew as well. To 30 minute mash, um, well, on the Brazil. Cuts half an hour off. We're still gonna do, do a 60 minute boil and spark. We've got a few other cunning plans, which we'll uh, discuss along the way. As cunning as a fox who's just been appointed Professor of Cunning at Oxford University. We're, we're, we're at strike temp now, so we're, where are we? Yeah, a little bit over, 69 degrees. But anyway, so just, just to show that 60 hours, no funny business, where no one can say, oh, it wasn't 60 hours, I bet that was longer. Here's the iPhone, hopefully you can see that. Wednesday, 31st January, 12.50. So, yeah, we'll be necking this at 12.50 on Friday night. That'd be right. For the boys come round for the rugby on Saturday. Let's get going. Kvike is pretty neutral in terms of flavour throughout the whole uh, fermentation temperature range. However, it does give subtle notes of orange and citrus, allegedly. So for this uh, West Coast style IPA, we're going to be using Amarillo just to reinforce that orange, the, the sort of sticky orange notes you get from that. And then obviously Citra needs no introduction, Citra, Citra. So yeah, we should be getting some nice citrus from that too. So hopefully just back up that yeast. A bit about under pressure. God, there's some great hops, those two. Citra and Amarillo. Mmm! And as this is Kvike yeast, one of the little, uh, one of the little cunning ideas is that we're going to pitch at about 35, so it's going to take less time to, to chill now. How you doing? That's my favourite uh, All right. room, boys. Very good, very good. Right, we've got a little cooler sanitizer here. We've got the Tilt Pro ready to go, because we want to keep an eye on this fermentation. It'd be quite interesting to see how quickly that kvike eats through it. Speaking of kvike, what we're going to do is we're going to awaken it from its dried slumber. Basically, I've, the best way I can explain it is when you wake up in the morning, you don't feel hungry to begin with, but after 10 or 15 minutes of being awake, you're ravenous. So we're hoping that by doing this, the yeasty boys will be ready to go and get stuck into that work. This is water at 35 degrees. And we're pitching two packs, so we're looking for 200 mil. And the, uh, the recommended pitch rate on these is half a gram to a gram per litre. So we've been for a gram a litre because, again, we want this to work through it quickly. That's the, uh, 
That's the main point of this brew. Here we are. So just stir and then leave to one side for 10 or 15 minutes. I do like the fact that that's connected to the pump and you can expel it quickly. That's really good. That's you liking that at home, folks? You liking that at home? In goes the Kvike. You get busy, Kvike. Enjoy yourselves in there. It's got to be got to be being dried up in a packet, doesn't it? Yeah. Tilt Pro. We're going to get it under pressure right from the off, so we're going to gas it with CO2 up to 25 psi. So yeah, right from the off, it's it's fermenting under pressure, and the yeast know they've got to do the business. And then we're going to set our pressure release valve. And then in the brew fridge it goes at 35 degrees. Maybe it's 25. Yeah. Or a shade over. I'd say it's 50 over. Good to go. Right, as you saw on the tilt, we are at 10.08, which is our target final gravity. And it's reached this point in 19 hours from when we pitched, just, to, just over 19 hours, which is absurd. Yeah, we're just a tad on the 35 degrees. Okay, there we go. We want to cold crash this now, as we'll be drinking in the, tomorrow night. Uh, that's, that just sounds weird to even say it. I'm going to leave the door open so we can get it cooled down as quick as possible. Inkbird, I'll do the Inkbird. It's a Wi-Fi one, so I'll do it from my phone. Can you see that Inkbird up there? Go for two degrees. There it is. Obviously, we've got good positive pressure inside the fermenter. We've got just over 30 PSI, so I expect that to drop to about 23 to 25 PSI during the cold crash. Uh, during the cold crash, obviously, it's quite an extreme going from, from, from 35 down to 2, 3 degrees, so that's going to lead to increased absorption of the CO2, which will send us well on our way to drinking a carbonated beer tomorrow. It's exciting times, people. It's exciting times. Welcome back to Covered Cam Sports fans. Let's see how we're getting on. The, the deadline is approaching. Yeah, we're five and a half degrees on the Inkbird and 6.3 degrees on the Tilt Pro. It's taken quite a while to come down from 35 degrees to two degrees. Longer than I thought, in all honesty, but every day's a school day. Uh, and we look, it's dropping by about well, 0.1 and 0.2 degrees per 15 minutes. Our tilt's recording every 15 minutes. Still probably yeasty crowding for my liking. It's looking like it's starting to clear a bit. So we're here, the big tasting, the world's fastest home-brewed beer. Look who's bothered to show up. And uh, just to show the time, here we go. Ooh. You see that? You with your family? Me with yep. the family? <laughs> yeah. Aren't they lovely? Right, here we go. Want to do the honours? Yeah, go on then. Right, get rid of the sanitizer first. Looks like beer, that'll do. Right, let's have a look. Is it carbonated? How's it looking? Whew. It's carbonated. It is carbonated. It's cloudy. It's not supposed to be, but I don't mind that. To be expected, I suppose. The world's fastest beer, people. Look at that! Come on. That's... 60 hours. <laughs> well, no, the proof is in the pudding of trying it. Get I mean, I, I, I brewed like proper beers with worse head than that. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's mental. That's mental. Very orange. Mm. This? Yeah. Why do you keep laughing? I don't understand. Mm. I would rather drink that than most macro lagers. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, it's cloudy. I'm not. I'm not a massive fan. Well, I'm not even bothered. I think I think it's quite cool. It's quite. Um, it's very fresh. Yeah, 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 definitely. It'd be interesting to see what it's like in a week or two's time. It's really malty. It's the maltiness that gets me the most. Mm. Right? We're not really getting much in the way of hot flavour or they got aroma. Yeah, like oranginess to start with. Bit of tannin kind of in there as well, a little bit. Do you get that? I thought it was going to be more bitter. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was going to be. I, I, I'd happily drink that. And that's with a quite yeast, like a, mm. a farmhouse yeast. Whoa, 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 chief. <laughs> Kvike. We don't say yeast. <laughs> Kvike yeast is saying yeast yeast. Right? <laughs> right. Get with the programme. 
Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's fresh, isn't it? I mean, it's like it's it's. I bear in mind that there, so there was no dry hop, no whirlpool, any of those shenanigans. Mm. I think that if we if we maybe rolled it out and had a couple extra hours, I think I would whirlpool next time. Yeah, for a good. Yeah, if you did that, so say you pushed it out to seventy two hours, so give yourself another twelve. You could whirlpool and maybe even squeeze in a very early and smallish dry hop. Mm. Yeah, it reminds me of a lager a lot. Yeah, because the maltiness. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The slightly more, it's a bit more bitter than a lager, isn't mm. it? Yeah, I think. I think so. But I mean, it looks so good. Look at that hip retention. Doesn't right. it really? Good. You guys have been swirling yours. I've not swirled mine once. So yeah, but, yeah. Throw the kegs away. <laughs> Throw your brewing books away. <laughs> brewing sixty hours. <laughs> and use your firmzilla as a uni tank, Bosh! <laughs> it's decent. That is decent. Mm. I've had much worse commercial beer. Mm. Plenty of much worse. Yeah, same, 100%. I've had worse Ed's beers. I've had worse, beers. Yeah. <laughs> I've had worse my beers. You definitely <laughs> had worse your beers. <laughs> I, it, it, it's too it's cold. Orange peel. It is too cold. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's what? It's just under four degrees. It didn't get all the way down to two, did it, in the cold crash? No. So, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's been cold crashing for what? 32, three hours? Yeah, there's a good. And it still wasn't time. enough. Would you yeah. rather drink that than Colin? Yeah, yeah, one, oh, of course. Yeah. I'd rather drink my own piss than Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. won't be now. If you're watching this, you're a Colin lover. No, they're right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's mental that you can achieve that in that mm. amount of time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we now have homebrew to drink during the rugby tomorrow. Mm. I think if we were to do it again, I think I would whirlpool, and I think I'd probably back off the bitterness a bit. I just think that. 50, 55 IBU is, is too harsh for a beer that is going to be quite green anyway. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, it does have a slight rough edge, I think. But other than that, I, you know, it's, it's there. The fastest, the fastest brewed beer in the world, people. Mm. It's blown me away. Has it? It has, yeah. It's decent. Isn't Why it? did you say that about five minutes ago, I you clown? You sat there giggling. Oh, okay. So, happy weekend, everyone. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the brew shed soon. You want to say Chen Queen, don't yeah. you? Yeah. No, you can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Jin Dobrik. Chen Queen. There you go. I'm not going to do it. Chen Queen. Good <laughs> help. <laughs>